Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 31 weeks pregnancy update. Today, according to the Bump app, the baby is the size of a stalk of asparagus. It says that the baby should be around 16.1 inches and weighing in between three and a half to four pounds. Okay, so as usual, I will go ahead and read off some of the symptoms that the Bump app says that I should have experienced this past week. So the Bump app says out of breath, dry brittle nails, Braxton Hicks contractions, leaky boobs, frequent urination, back aches, and difficulty sleeping. And I will go ahead and get into the symptoms that I've uh, actually experienced this past week and taken notes on that were noticeable to me. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first symptom that I'm, I'm going to talk about with you guys is one that has been really noticeable to me this past week and I've talked about it in previous videos. Um, and is not really one that I, I don't know if a lot of you can relate to, but if you can, please, please leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know what your experience is with this. So some of you may know already that I have two fibroids that are located on the outside of my uterus. Um, and they have been growing throughout my pregnancy with the baby. The fact that they're located on the outside of my uterus doesn't really affect the baby as much as if they were on the inside of my uterus, um, but they are, they have become increasingly more and more painful. And that has been a major thing this past week is that these fibroids are just becoming more and more squished the more that the baby grows because the fact of the fact that they're located between my uterus and my stomach wall lining um so they're just becoming more and more squished and they are basically dying so like running out of blood flow sorry guys i know that's like kind of gross to hear but it's um it's definitely painful and noticeable and i feel for any of you who are experiencing the same thing that i am right now with these stupid fibroids it honestly sucks so bad and i i, I honestly believe that my pregnancy would be so much more enjoyable without these fibroids and there of course there is nothing that the doctors can really do about that right now they kind of just suggest for pain with the fibroids that you take Tylenol or just rest and stay hydrated and put ice or heat on where the fibroids are. So this past week, the fibroids became so much more painful as my husband and I were walking in the grocery store. I mean, I had maybe been standing and walking around the grocery store for about 15 to 20 minutes and all of a sudden the pain just hit me like a ton of bricks and I thought maybe I was going to faint or fall down or I just kind of like broke out in a sweat and I had to stop walking and like hunch over in pain and I just started crying in the middle of the grocery store and um, my husband, you know, got a little bit nervous and asked me if we needed to go to the hospital that we could just basically leave our cart full of stuff and just head to the hospital and um me being the person that i am i basically thought no i can push through this and uh just get through the rest of grocery shopping which we did um and we came home and i laid down for basically the rest of the day just putting ice rotating between ice and heat on the fibroids i drank a lot of water and i just you know took some tylenol and just got some rest and uh that seemed to help quite a bit but my husband did have to basically like sit down and give me a lecture that I needed to slow down and kind of take it easy um, for the next few days at least just to kind of see if that helped and it has definitely helped. So still kind of on the subject of my fibroids, I yesterday was actually my last official day of 
working so I'm officially now on maternity leave and to be quite honest it was really really hard to come to terms with because I just didn't see myself you know stopping work this early but you definitely have to listen to your body sometimes and after that experience with the fibroids and how painful it was um, I, I definitely realized that my body just can't handle the type of work that I do. But like I said, it's, it's definitely something hard to come to terms with when you realize that your body just cannot do the things that you mentally think that it can. So moving on, last night I had some really, really bad sharp cramping pains but they were only in my right side and um, that's where the fibroids are located but they weren't really like centralized to where the fibroids are they were like a little bit lower kind of in my lower abdomen and so that was really scary I mean I almost thought for a second because they were I had one and then a few minutes later I had another like really sharp pain like cramping pain so I got really nervous for a second and thought, oh my gosh, like I hope this is not, these are not contractions and I'm not going into labor, but um, I kept just kind of like moving around and stuff and eventually they just went away. So I'm not really sure what it was, but they were definitely painful and they weren't Braxton Hicks contractions because if you guys have been watching, I have had plenty of Braxton Hicks contractions and so I know what the difference between a Bra Braxton Hicks contraction is and like a cramp and those were definitely cramps. So my belly has been feeling super super tight um, the pat I would say maybe the past couple of weeks and it just it feels like the skin is just so tight and I haven't noticed any stretch marks or anything yet. Um, but my belly just seems like it's like really red and like splotchy and very veiny so it's just it's not very attractive at all <laughs> i've also had a little bit of soreness around my belly button or like on my belly button so i don't know if it's just because you know my belly button is kind of just popping starting to pop out now or if it's like just my shirts rubbing on my belly button. I've heard of people um, having to put a band-aid on their belly button um, to keep it from chafing, but it doesn't seem like it's like a chafing type of feeling. It just kind of seems like it's sore um, to the touch a little bit. So I've still been having quite a bit of back pain. It seems like it's more located in the mid-back area now, like where your bra line is. Um, so I don't know if it's just like it's probably just my posture and I need to really work on that <laughs> But um, I've still been having Braxton Hicks contractions and I've still had a lot of hip pain Especially laying in bed at night. Oh my gosh It is just like I feel like my hips are just like dislocating and if I get up in the middle of the night to go pee I feel like as soon as I stand up I feel like I'm like I need a walker or something because it's just it feels like my hips are like moving like this almost like they're just not aligned and it just feels like I might just fall on the floor sometimes and then the shortness of breath that has still been like oh I just the shortness of breath is like it's killing me guys his butt is like right up in where my lungs are and I'm just I told you guys last week that I've, I learned the trick of getting on my hands and knees and kind of like letting gravity take the baby down a little bit and that way I can breathe for a few minutes. So oftentimes my husband will walk in the room and I'm just like sitting there with <laughs> on my hands and knees. The moodiness has still been present and every little thing just bothers me and annoys me and I'm sure that you guys can relate if you're around this same week as I am. <laughs> okay, catch my breath. <laughs> so the last thing that I was gonna talk to you guys about in this update is my prenatals. 
Oh my gosh, guys, I have no idea why, but I bought a second bottle of the same exact prenatals that I was taking before. At least I think that they're the same, and I'll tell you why I think they might be different in just a second, but they're the Nature Made Prenatal Vitamins. And I have been taking these my entire pregnancy, the same brand, and I just bought this new bottle and they smell and taste like pure fish. It is absolutely disgusting and makes me gag every time I take one of these things out. And I know a lot of women have like trouble with prenatal vitamins and everything, but the first bottle that I had was completely odorless and did not taste like anything nothing near what this tastes like so I'm not quite sure why they're different I'm starting to wonder if maybe I had the first bottle that I had was the prenatal multi but it didn't have DHA so let me know if you guys are taking what prenatals you're taking maybe like if you like them if they smell if they don't smell or if you know if like the DHA is what is causing the fishiness because I honestly don't understand why <laughs> they would be that much different um but like I said I can't remember for sure if the first bottle that I had had DHA in it so I'm thinking maybe it's the DHA I cannot deal with the fishiness and so I need to go back to whatever I was taking before or try something totally new. But okay guys, that is actually all that I have for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It helps out my channel a lot. And make sure you guys are subscribed and you have your bell notifications on. That way you can know when I've uploaded my next video. And as always, leave me a comment down below. I love, love, love to hear from you guys. And I will go ahead and show you my baby bump now, and I'll see you guys in my next